folks, Pastor Guy here at Country Cowboy Church. It's Friday. Thanks for joining in with us. Hey, it's been a beautiful week. Sun's been out. I'm feeling a lot better. I've had some time to work in the garden. And this first song, well, I kind of want to go through the commandments. The fifth commandment says, honor your father and your mother. This weekend, we celebrate mothers for Mother's Day. So this one goes out to all the mothers, especially to my mother. This is uh, one of the last songs I sang for her. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear falling on my ear The Son of God disclosed And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing, and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing, and he walks with me. And he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. You know it's stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling, but he bids me go to the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling, can't you just hear it? And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. bless you mothers. May God show you that love when he wraps his arm around you. May your children love you as much as he does. Amen. Amen. Well, I know what my mom would ask. She was pretty happy that I actually started to sing for God and becoming a pastor and all that good stuff. But here's a question for you. There's an awful lot of Christians out there talking the talk. It all comes down to it. They need to work on their walk. Stop living by traditions and worldly ways. Stop living for Jesus today. Here's that question. Are you living for Jesus today? Does the world even know that you say? Are you seeking God's will or does the devil have his way? Are you living for Jesus today? Well, there's a big deception that's been going around the church. You don't need faith in Jesus, you get saved by your works. But religion, when it's due, so don't can lead you astray. Start living for Jesus today. Are you living for Jesus today? Are you seeking 
dies, well, it does the devil have his way. I living for Jesus today. Well, Satan's out there pounding and just trying to bring you down. There's a way that you can be tossed around. Let the word of God light your path then show you the way. Stop living for Jesus today. Are you living for Jesus today? Does the world need to know that you say? Are you seeking God's will or does the devil have his way? Are you living for Jesus today? Are you living for Jesus today? So are you living for Jesus today? together with you even though we're just doing this recording but we're hoping soon the doors will be open again so we can all be together as one but you know God's got everything taken care of I think you know I've been around for a while when I had the doctor look me in the eye and say, you have COVID-19, it was a very surreal moment. I said, God, this one's on you. You got to heal me from this if you got some things for me to do. And if I'm done, I'm okay with that. Take me home to be with you. But either way, in the shelter of your presence, Try that again. In the shelter of your presence, in the safety of your arms, I will make your love my refuge from all harm, from all harm. I will cast my cares upon you, find your peace in every storm. In the shelter of your presence, in the safety of your arms. Let's sing that one more time, shall we? In the shelter of your presence, in the safety of your arms, I will make your love my refuge. From all harm, from all harm, I will cast my cares upon you, find your peace in every storm, in the shelter of your presence, the safety of your arms, in the shelter of your presence. In the safety of your arms. No matter what, Lord, if I'm with you and in your arms, I know I'm okay. You will give me that shelter I need through every storm, no matter what. That's what he's promised to you and to me. Let's take that promise and let's put it in here. Let's abide by it, shall we? Hey, I got a Bible verse here I want to share with you. We're going to go to Romans chapter 5. I'm going to go in there lately. But I just got to read this out loud again. Because it gives me a lot of strength. Maybe it will give you some too. It says, therefore, since we have justified through faith. We've got to have faith that God is who he says he is. He's going to do what he says he's going to do. Because it's faith that gets us the grace. That gives us all the promises of God. But we have to have the faith. And you only need the faith of a mustard seed to have enough faith. As far as God is concerned. 
Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in the sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, whom he has given us. You see, at just the right time, when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous man, though for a good man someone might possibly dare to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for you, a sinner. For me, a sinner. Not that we had to be made pure and bold and righteous and all that before, but he says, no, I'm going to go first. And since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath? Through him. For if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Jesus came to take care of everything. Remember, there's a trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's mentioned in here, isn't he? God's mentioned in here, and so is Jesus. So this is our Lord speaking to us in all three persons, saying, hey, he has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's living in here, folks. Accept it. Jesus is the Son of God, and he died while we were sinners. He didn't wait until we got to a certain point. It's okay, yeah, you're good enough. I'm going to give you that blessing. He's going to say, oh, no, I'm taking you at the bottom. And I want to raise you up. I want to raise you up to be with me in heaven. In fact, I'm going to just do that so that you'll know. And you can't earn it. This is all faith and grace because of faith. This is what saves us from our sins. Hang on to that. You know, I was talking about the Ten Commandments, got to honor our mother and father. That's a good thing. And I know some of us have had bad experience with our mothers. But she did give birth to you. And there's a lot of pain in that. God is your heavenly parent. He knows all the problems, the suffering, and the hurt that you've gone through. But he came here as Jesus while we were sinners to take care of us, to love us, to give us that grace. And if we accept who God says he is through his son, Jesus Christ, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we're going to heaven. And that's a great thing. So when I got sick and I heard the doctor speak to me and says, hey, you've got COVID. And I thought, well, I'm kind of in that age group where this isn't too good. I had a friend that was six months younger than me, got COVID. And within two weeks, he passed away. So I had some real firsthand experience on what could happen. But I also said, God, use me. You want me to do what I'm doing, use me. So far, I guess he's still using me. He's got something for you, too. He has something so perfect and so, I, I don't know, it, it's so fulfilling if you would allow him to speak his plan of what he has for you in your heart through the Holy Spirit. And may you start to live it out 
each day. Just a little bit each day. And every day you get stronger. And then you can do a little more. And before long, you're going to be a changed person. Why? Because you're listening to the Holy Spirit that's been placed upon your heart. And God is talking through the Holy Spirit. Because God is the Holy Spirit. And God is Jesus Christ. Only wants the best for you. So let go and let God. Let go and let God. Okay? Okay. So like I said, want to do a special thing for mom. I think for our moms, they're probably most proud of we're talking to God. That's why I always like to do this song. Till the answer comes, God, keep praying. Keep praying. Oh, keep praying. Till the answer comes, you got keep praying. Keep praying till the answer comes. If you knock one time, there's no answer. Well, don't turn away from the door. You got to knock again until you've been let in. Sometimes it only takes once more. Till the answer comes, you got to keep praying. Keep praying. Oh, keep praying. Till the answer comes, you got to keep praying. Sometimes you might be on your knees for hours Before that light finally comes breaking through the dark But if you truly believe this power can breathe life into any trouble up Till the answer comes, you gotta keep praying Keep praying, I'll keep praying Till the answer comes and ready to hear from you. And when you're most down and out, he's there. He'll listen. And he will answer any prayer that you send him. He's going to answer it in his time and in his way. And remember, that's always perfect. Reach out. Reach out to Jesus. Make him your Lord and Savior. And that grace-based faith change your life. Amen? Amen. Hey, it's been fun to be with y'all. This is Pastor Guy signing out. God bless all you mothers. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And here's a whole bunch of flowers I'm sending out to you. Okay, now, we'll see you next week. God bless.